always from the heart of the city and now on demand 24 7 on the chfi website this is the soundtrack to the fragrance of one's life and i'm don jackson around the world on the internet alice e allen in my mother's garden wrote sweet as the breath of roses blown the fragrance of her life I thought I would provide you with a little fragrance this hour it is one of the strongest inducements for most of our most vivid memories the warm aroma of freshly baked bread is but one example the perfume your mother wore your father's cologne once upon a time we all walked on the golden road we heard the song of morning stars we drank in fragrances aerial and sweet as may mist we were rich in gossamer fancies and iris hopes the years waited beyond and they were fair lucy maud montgomery from the golden road this hour, the fragrance of your life, memory. With lovers and author strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Rod Stewart with these foolish things and Whitney Houston and Exhale. I'm Don Jackson with lovers and author strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Not by bread alone, but by the fragrance of roses, the scent of orange blossoms, the smell of new mown hay. from the University Presbyterian, or this from The Great Lover by Rupert Brooke. The good smell of old clothes and other such. The comfortable smell of friendly fingers, hair's fragrance, and the musty reek that lingers about dead leaves and last year's ferns. One thing we miss in winter is fragrance, unless, of course, you choose lightly scented tea lights to add a certain color to your home. I want to help you remember some wonderful fragrances this hour. And for those in the Northern Hemisphere, maybe spring or summer won't seem that far away. The visitors in summer clothing while walking on the crunchy sand breathe in unfathomable fragrance which only bees can understand. This gripping scent is theme and subject whereas however well they look the flower beds, the lawn, the garden are but the cover of a book. An excerpt from The Linden Avenue by Boris Pasternak. And Alexander Smith wrote My Garden with its silence and pulses of fragrance that come and go on the airy undulations affects me like sweet music. Care stops at the gates and gazes at me wistfully through the bars. Lovers and Author Strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Tony Braxton and Breathe Again. And James Taylor, How Sweet It Is. And Nora Jones and Come Away With Me. I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Author Strangers from iTunes and chfi.com Rilke in the roses wrote alone 
extravagant bloom. You create your own space. Alone, you retrace your image in a mirror of perfume. And each petal consents and takes a few fragrant, invisible steps in the wind. As Selma Hudson said in her book, The Rose Mystique, and I quote, Fragrance even changes with the weather. It is strongest on warm and damp days, and the aroma can travel some distance on a hot and dry summer days, as well as on cold, cloudy days. The fragrance will be more faint. Unquote. And author Kathy Lamancusa, in her collection, Flowers Are Forever, believes, and again I quote, the fragrance of flowers seems more romantic and mysterious at night. Unquote. And this excerpt from Moonlight by Kim Su Zhang and translated by Kevin O'Rourke. Moonlight shines on the lotus pond. Lotus fragrance pervades my clothes. These are fragrant moments that are imprinted on the mind forever. Lovers and author strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Enrique Iglesias and Viola Mos. Brian Adams, have you ever really loved a woman? And Faith Hill and Breathe. And I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Margaret E. Sangster wrote, There is no dream so small you cannot make it a lovely thing. A vivid blue and white. There is no hope so tiny, but its glowing may touch the dark centuries with light. There is no flower so faded that its petals may hold a hint of fragrance that will last. There is no memory so lost and so broken that it can fail to glorify the past. There is no vision in this world of striving that does not help the tired soul to peace. There is no suffering, however bitter, that does not end at last in glad release. There is no dream so small but its slim fingers may point the path to all that life holds best. There is no road, no matter how it falters, that does not lead the heart at last to rest. Daniel Bedingfield, if you're not the one, and Josh Groban, awake. And I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. From the collection, The Love Poems of Rumi, Edited and translated by Deepak Chopra. Published in 1993 by Harmony Books, New York. Comes this, and I quote. From the beginning of my life, I have been looking for your face. But today, I have seen it. Today, I have seen the charm, the beauty the unfathomable grace of the face that I was looking for. Today, I have found you, and those who laughed and scorned me yesterday are sorry they were not looking as I did. I am bewildered by the magnificence of your beauty and which to see with a hundred eyes. My heart has burned with passion and has searched forever for this wondrous beauty 
that I now behold. I am ashamed to call this love human and afraid of God to call it divine. Your fragrant breath, like the morning breeze, has come to the stillness of the garden. You have breathed a new life into me. I have become your sunshine and also your shadow. My soul is screaming in ecstasy. Every fiber of my being is in love with you. Unquote. One of the love poems of Rumi, translated by Deepak Chopra. Sometimes that discovery can be made in the eyes of those standing right next to you. And when it happens, it can be a wondrous treasure. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Anna Nalek and Breathe 2 a.m. and Phil Collins with a groovy kind of love. And I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers. We're even led to believe that we'll not be immune to fragrance when the time comes for us to cross over. Sarah Teasdale wrote, Those who love the most do not talk of their love. Francesca, Guinevere, Deirdre, Isolt, Eloise in the fragrant gardens of heaven are silent, or speak, if at all, of fragile, inconsequent things. And a woman I used to know, who loved one man from her youth against the strength of the fates, fighting in somber pride, never spoke of this thing. But hearing his name by chance, a light would pass over her face. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. I hope you will tell all your friends about lovers and other strangers. Good night, sweet dreams. I'm Don Jackson.